Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. We are headed to 1900 Park Fair, which is actually right behind us because today we are at the Grand Floridian and we have never been to 1900 Park Fair before, so let's do a dining review, a breakfast dining review, and we are super excited to meet the characters that are here. So today, from what we understand, there is Pooh, Alice, Mad Hatter, Mary Poppins and Tigger. So that's a pretty good lineup of characters. This is a buffet style meal, so we're gonna be able to eat all that we can enjoy. And trust me, you guys know that we do just that. So first things first, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can support our channel. That like button if you like what we're doing and that bell notification so that you can be notified every time we release a video on Mondays and Fridays. It's breakfast time, there's monorail, let's get started. best things about 1900 Park Fair is the frozen hog juice. Hog juice is passion fruit orange guava juice that they have at a variety of locations around the park, but here they have it in slushy form. So one thing that 1900 Park Fair is really known for is their strawberry soup. It's a chilled strawberry soup and I thought it used to come in like a little shot glass but they just had bowls today so that's what I got. So I'm excited to give that a try. I also got some watermelon, some scrambled eggs that I put salsa and capers and then this is corned beef hash. So round one, let's get started. Well as you can see I got a lot of stuff. I got sticky bun, tater tots, corned beef and hash, cheese blitz, eggs benedict, some scrambled eggs, because I gotta have eggs when I come to a buffet, and red velvet pancakes, which I just had one, and they are really good red velvet pancakes. They have good taste and they're nice and fluffy and hot, so that's awesome. Here at 1900 Park Fair, they're very known for their chilled strawberry soup, which we have right here. As you can see, I've already been enjoying it, but let's take a bite because it is what they're known for. It's pretty much just strawberry puree and what I think is heavy cream. So that's pretty much all it is, but I think it's really good. I would definitely get it again. And I would probably honestly make this at home and just use like coconut milk, but I think it's really good. So that's why they're known for it. just finished breakfast at 1900 Park Fair. It was our first time ever and it was really, really good. They are really known for that chilled strawberry soup like I showed you and I thought it was really good. It was super simple. It was literally just strawberry puree and what I think was heavy cream. So super healthy, <laughs> but super good. I liked it a lot. I just kind of ate a little bit lighter today. It is gonna be a hot one and I don't really want to be stuck to the gills for a day at Hollywood Studios, but I thought the food was really good. The characters were awesome and super on point. Mary Poppins was definitely in character. She was very prim and proper. The Mad Hatter was funny and he and Bryson had a really good time talking about their love of hats together. Pooh of course is always a favorite. I love Pooh. Alice was really cute as well and she talked about her invisible flowers that they planted for her in the restaurant so it was really good. Our server was really good. He was super nice. He was pretty attentive. Buffets are really hard because I think a lot of times people are either hovery or they're like can't ever find them and I thought he was really good. He had a really big section and he was super attentive so buffets like I said are really hard. As someone who worked in the restaurant industry, Bryson and I both know about that so it was really a great experience. I'd definitely come back. I will say it was really a really loud restaurant. So it's a really small space. There's probably only like 50 or 60 tables in there. Maybe not even that. And so it was a pretty small space and there were a lot of people in there. And of course it's a buffet. So that makes things a little bit louder, but it was really good. I enjoyed it and I would come back. So especially for breakfast and meet those fun characters that they have here for breakfast. So if you are a fan of buffets and character experiences and breakfast, 
definitely come and check it out. They of course have the Mickey waffles, which is everybody's favorite, and then they have an omelet station and all kinds of other stuff. So something for everyone, that's the beauty of a buffet. I really enjoyed it, I had a great time. All right, so as Crystal said, we had breakfast at 1900 Park Fair, and I have to say the food at this buffet possibly is some of my favorite food, and that's because they have a breakfast pizza. And the breakfast pizza resembles what my mom used to order me when I was a kid. And it brings back all the feels, all the memories. It's so good. Loved it. Red velvet pancakes. They were very fluffy, very warm. They were delicious. So this breakfast is definitely one that I want to come back to again. $40 a person. And then we got our AP discount, so 10% off of that. But it is $40 a person. So if you're not a big eater, don't come to any buffet. It's not worth your money. Unless you want to meet the characters. Because the characters that are here are not characters you're going to see all the time. So I do recommend if you want to meet the Mad Hatter, Alice, Mary Poppins, definitely come in here, get a good meal, and meet those characters because the interactions with these characters are phenomenal. The Mad Hatter and I, we're like best friends now. Like I'm pretty sure he's gonna come hang out with me this weekend. Like we are awesome. So anyway folks, let us know in the comments down below, have you been to 1900 Park Fair and what did you think about it? Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Then we're gonna click that like button so that you can support our channel and help us out and grow. Then click that bell icon so that you're notified when we release videos on Mondays and Fridays. Well, thank you so much for watching this dining review. Hope you get to try 1900 Park Fair and will let us know what you think of it. Thanks for stopping by. And for the love of the mouse. Never forget. That it all started. With a mouse.